this is problem 7.29 and from this problem we know the process transconductance so k and prime now right the threshold voltage for a transistor it's v it's an nmos transistor so v threshold so the threshold voltage is 0.5 volts and the length of the channel is 0.5 micrometers we need to find the width and vgs for a transconductance of 2 milliamperes per volts and uh, a drain current an id of 0.25 milliamps so there's one of the equations for the transconductance gm is equals to the square root of 2 times kn prime the aspect ratio times id okay so this parameter here we know this one here we know we also know the length and we know the current so we can isolate w in this equation here so if we square both sides of the equation we get rid of this uh, square root and we can isolate w so w becomes gm squared times l divided by 2 times the process transconductance times the current id and this is equals to 2 milliamps per volt squared <coughs> times the length which is 0 0.5 micrometers <coughs> sorry divided by 2 times the process transconductance which is 250 micro amperes per square volts and times the current that is 2.25 milliamps so this gives us a width of 16 micrometers okay now for VGS okay there is another equation for GM for the transconductance that is that the transconductance is equals to the process transconductance times the aspect ratio times the overdrive voltage and remember that the overdrive voltage is equals to VGS minus VT okay so we can calculate the overdrive voltage in this in this case here so it's VG and then we obtain VGS so it's VGS minus VT So if we isolate V overdrive here, we get that V overdrive is equals to GM divided by the process transconductance times the aspect ratio. And this one here is just those 16 micrometers divided by the length at 0 0.5 micrometers. So it gives us 32. So V overdrive is equals to those 2 milliamps per volt I think I so yeah uh, let me see here yeah no it's correct it's ampere per volts here I thought I have given you ampere per square volt so it's correct so it's 2 milliamperes per volt divided by Kn that's 250 micro amperes per square volt times the aspect ratio and this gives us an overdrive voltage of 0 0.25 volts now because we know that the overdrive voltage is equals to VGS minus VT that's equals to 0 0.25 volts VGS is actually the overdrive voltage plus the threshold voltage and that is 0 0.25 plus the threshold voltage that in our case is 0 0.5 volts this gives us a VGS of 0 0.75 volts okay that's all for this problem